What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you're all doing well. Today, I have my turbo sitting on the table in front of me, getting ready to go through and start the whole build series on how to completely take apart, rebuild, and upgrade the stock turbo on these trucks. And I figured, while I had it out, I would do a little bit of a small video for you guys, for a midweek video, showing you guys how to increase the boost on your stock turbo 100% for free. Super easy, simple thing to do. Kind of uh, fixing something that Ford did from the factory that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so I figured I'd go through and show you guys how to do that for a quick little video. You guys are new here or you're a current subscriber and you haven't seen my last video um, I'll link it up in the upper right corner so you guys can check it out but I'm doing a full series on how to completely go through rebuild and upgrade the stock turbo for 99 to 03 super duty the other generations would be pretty similar to this but it's not exactly the same KC turbos was nice enough to help support the channel and provide an awesome kit for you guys I've uh, got the full rebuild kit here from them 360 degree bearing plus the big old meat and potatoes full s300 balanced assembly to go in it upgrade it should be an awesome upgrade over the stock turbine um, and compressor wheel that is all going into the turbo i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and then once it's all done rebuild brand new and pretty i'm going to be giving it away to one of you guys so if you guys haven't gone and checked out that last video go check it out so you can figure out how to enter in to win it it doesn't cost you guys anything it takes maybe five minutes of work or less for you guys to get entered in so go check out that video find out how to get entered in um, should be pretty exciting but that's not the point of today's video today's video is a quick one just to show you guys if you guys have a stock truck um, how to go through and increase the boost on your turbo for free a very short anatomy a lesson for you guys that may not be super familiar with these um, how a turbo works is you have your exhaust turbine housing here, you have your compressor housing here, exhaust gases come from your engine, go through this little snail thing over here, spin a turbine, which goes over to the compressor housing, and you see, well, you guys can't really see it, it's dark, but spins the compressor wheel, which compresses air, comes out this hole, goes into your engine, um, goes through the intercooler, then into your engine, creates boost. What you see on the back side here is what is called a wastegate actuator. So the wastegate actuator kind of works in two separate ways. One, it's got the valve in here, and as exhaust gases pressure builds up, it'll actually push open that valve so you're not building up too much exhaust back pressure, um, causing damage or potentially causing damage in the cylinders or with the valve train. Um, and then another way is you usually have a boost line hooked up to here and as you build up boost more pressure goes into this little actuator which then pushes the rod and opens it up more uh, for some reason ford or international i don't know who made the decision but they just they decided that these things should start opening up at five psi of boost so as soon as you hit around five psi assuming this thing's not even worn out at all um, it's going to be starting to open up the little valve here and bypassing your turbine wheel uh, which means you're not going to be building boost as quickly. So a quick and easy upgrade to do is to actually adjust this mechanism so that it doesn't open up as early. Um, right now, like I said, it's opening up around 5 PSI. I'll show you guys that. We're going to adjust it so that it opens up closer to 15 to 20 PSI. Um, that way, uh, you're using as much potential as you, or you're getting as much potential out of the turbo as you can. It should spool up faster but you're not going to be over boosting the turbo by any means because once it opens up you'll start bleeding off the pressure you don't have to worry about it so right around i think a safe zone would be 15 maybe 20 psi max is where i would set it at um, so we'll go through and do that whoever wins this turbo this thing will be adjusted for you already if you choose to keep it if not you can just replace it with another one 
Um, there are a lot of replacements up out there to replace these things. Um, personally, unless this thing's really shot, I don't see any reason not to just adjust it yourself, other than the new ones look a lot prettier than this. Um, so let me break out the air compressor, show you guys kind of how this works so you can see it, and then we'll go through and adjust it real quick. All right, so here we go. Got a little air nozzle here. Compressor set to around probably close to 10 PSI. Um, you guys should be able to see. We'll go make a seal on this side of the turbo, and you should be able to see this actuator arm start to open up this valve. So let's see. Try to get a good seal on it. There you go. You can kind of see it just start to open. I'm not even giving it full full air yet. There you go. So as you can see, when you apply the air, it starts to open it up at around 5 to 10 PSI, which not only is it having pressure here, but you're also getting the exhaust pressure pushing on this side, so it opens it up even farther. So what we're going to do is actually take this rod off and shorten it up a little bit so there's more spring pressure on it, so that way it won't open up as early. Very, very simple process to do. Let's show you how to do it. So on these turbos, to get it off, you have a little tiny uh, clip right here. And I'll say when it's on the truck, it is hard to get to. Um, try very hard not to drop it. Um, if you want, you can just order new clips. They're not expensive at all but that basically just pops off just like that. And that's how the rod is held in place. And then on the inside, we have two, I think they're eight or 10 millimeter. Let me tell you real quick. There we go. Two 10 millimeter bolts right there, or nuts. So we'll go take these off. Trying to work around a camera here. Hold, hold on. All right, you're good. We'll break those free. So that's one. two and just like that should be able to pop this off and take the whole wastegate actuator out just like that so now what we'll do is we'll just keep tightening these this part onto the threads uh, so that there's more spring pressure on there and we'll test it as we go if I remember correctly I think most people say one full turn is one psi um, so I think let's start with five turns in and see where that puts us at pressure-wise. All right, so that's five full turns in. We'll get the compressed air and we'll see how that works. I bumped this up to about 20 PSI on the tank or on the regulator. There's a good example of watching it move. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I think we're gonna try to turn it up or tighten it down a little bit more. There's one. There's two. There's three. I'll try to get that back lined up where it needs to be. It's close. Should be pretty pretty close all right so we probably have around eight full turns tightening it up now so i'm going to put it back on the turbo so the spring pressure is applied um, and then we'll go from there we'll see how it lines up now you guys can't see this here let me move the camera for you so when we took this off this thing basically just slid right on off and now you can see it is shorter um, so, trick to get it on is to use the compressed air, focus, 
trick to get it on is to use the compressed air to open it up and then line it back up. Just like that. It is lined back up on the shaft. Not exactly perfect, but we can fix that. So now test to see what it looks like with the actual spring pressure. So now you can see it's moving just about the same amount that it was. But now we're pushing it at 15 to 20 PSI instead of 5 to 10 PSI. So hopefully that makes sense that now it's requiring more boost pressure to open it up. And that should make a substantial improvement on the spool up ability of the stock turbo. This is the tricky part for you guys that are doing it in the truck. Take your little C-clamp thing right here. See if we can get this on. Not on all the way. Right, let's break out the pliers here. Time to go searching. Oh boy. We got lucky, guys. We found it. There she is. Alright, I honestly cannot believe that I got lucky enough to find that thing. Did not think it was going to happen. And good news, it is magnetic in case you drop it. There we go. You heard it snap back into place. Now all we have to do, take our two nuts. See if we can thread them back on. Again, this is not the easiest when it's in the truck, but it is definitely doable. Lots of people that have done it. I think the actual torque spec of these is maybe like 10 to 18 foot pounds. It's not much. And that right there is just how simple it is. So again, when you first shot, the air compressor was set to around 5 to 10 PSI. Now we have it set closer to 20, 15 to 20 PSI. There you go. So now you can see it is moving just about as much as it was when we first tested it. But now it's holding back much more boost or much more pressure, I should say. So there you guys go. That's just how simple it is to adjust the wastegate on your stock turbo um, on a regular wastegate or even if it's not a stock wastegate. That's basically the same exact process you would go through. Um, pretty simple. Like I said, it's a little bit harder to get to when it's in the back, uh, when it's actually on the engine, um, back by the firewall, but it's totally doable. A lot of people have done it. If you do decide to do this, um, I did about eight full turns on the wastegate rod, um, and that brought me up so that it's actuating probably around 15 to 20 PSI that it's starting to open up. Um, so if you're looking around that range, I would say from the stock setting, probably around, uh, around eight turns. Um, Obviously, if it's in your truck, you're not going to be wanting to put this on, taking it off, putting it on, take it off, trying to test it out. Um, so that would be my recommendation. Somewhere around eight turns should do it pretty good. And it should be a very noticeable difference um, with you actually driving the truck. It should allow it to spool up quite a bit faster. Um, again, it's not like going to be a brand new turbo, but it should perform a lot better than what it was stock. I have absolutely no idea why Ford or International thought it was a good idea have these things to start opening up at 5 psi 
So there you go. There's a free and easy mod to do to your truck that should give you a significant difference in driving experience. You should be able to notice the difference. Like I said, I'm going to be going through and completely rebuilding this entire turbo um, and then upgrading it with the KC Turbos S300 turbine and compressor wheel assembly. And then we're going to be giving it away to one of my subscribers. Um, if you haven't checked out the video on going through all the in-depth stuff on that I highly encourage you to go check it out so like I said I'm going to be going through completely rebuilding and upgrading this turbo with a KC turbos s300 uh, turbine and compressor wheel assembly with a 360 degree bearing uh, or rebuild kit um, should be a significant improvement over stock and of course like I said once it's all done I will be giving it away to one of you guys so how to get entered in to win this turbo is go back to the last video where I'm explaining it. Again, I will link it somewhere up here um, and maybe post a picture of it so you know what it looks like, but it's the first video. Um, go back to that video, leave a comment on the video, and then subscribe to the channel and follow KC Turbos on Instagram. And that is how you get entered to win it. No cost to you. I'm paying shipping to send it to you. That's all you have to do to get entered to win this turbo. And of course, in general, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I encourage you to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments on this, leave them down below. I'll try to get back to as many people as I can. And for all my current subscribers, I'll catch you guys on the next video when we're tearing into this turbo. See you next time.